good. Excuse me? You've convinced my father that you're some kind of angel, but I know otherwise. I know that you're working him. The night of the murder, you came here to kidnap your daughter. My uncle Stuart got in the way, so you shot him. I bumped into you that night, too. Did I put a bullet in you? If I'd been a little more sober, you probably would have. Do you even care that I saved your father's life that night? Says who? My dad? My dad, who was so drugged up, he didn't know what planet he was on? It's the truth. No. It's the story that you fed him because you realized he wouldn't remember anything. Except the story that you told him wasn't what really happened. Is it? I wouldn't do that if I were you. Zach? Any word on Kendall? Working on it. I want to help. All right, let's start by keeping our voices down. Come here. You can't tip off the cops. Zach, she's out there somewhere, and she's alone, and she's really scared. And of course she is. I'm going to find her. Make sure she's in that courtroom. How you can do that? I mean, we all know that Kendall is innocent. How in the world are you going to convince her to go on trial for her life? I don't need this button to summon security. My lungs are quite adequate. I assume you're here to finish the job? I'm here because I need your help. You want me to help the woman who murdered my brother? Adam, for the tenth time, I did not kill Stuart. Annie did. So why are you still defending her? Because she has done nothing wrong. Are you sure about that? Yes. Quite sure. See, I don't believe that. You are way too smart to believe anything just because Annie says it's true. And you expect me to believe you? If not me, then my mother. She's been there for you, Adam. She's been your friend. She's been there for your family. And right now, she needs your help. She needs you to know that her daughter is not a killer. Are you honestly going to side with Annie, a total stranger, over the best friend you have? I, uh... Annie lives under my roof now. And uh, we see each other quite often. And I've uh, been observing her very closely. I'll bet you have. I'm as certain of her innocence as I am of your guilt. What could possibly change my mind now? I have a way. found him like this. Brandy! I knew him. Henry North was, a, was an ex-client that... that somehow became more than a client. Somehow he showed up in Pine Valley and he just kept on talking about how much he loved me and, and, and how we needed to be back together. And it, it was like he was obsessed. I, I, right, I don't know. Slow down. Take your time. Slow down. I just wanted him. 
I just wanted him to forget about me. And what happened? He started touching me. And and then he he, he pushed himself on me and and he wouldn't let go and then I grabbed the bookend. I think I'm gonna be sick. Okay. Try 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 to steady yourself. Try to calm down, okay? He's dead, isn't he? I killed him. Why wouldn't you come to me? Why wouldn't you let me help you with something like this? Henry was never a violent man. I don't know. I thought that I could talk to him, that I could, that I could, I don't know, put some sense into his head so that he would, he would back off you and back off Kenzo, but I don't know. Henry changed. What am I going to do? What am I going to tell Frankie? Come here, come here, come here. Stay away from him. You don't look so good. No, I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I've been thinking. And it's as if a cloud just suddenly lifted from my head. Everything's clear. What do you mean when you say everything? The night my brother was shot. It's coming back to me. So you know who shot him? Yes, I think so. You can't. You can't remember that. No, but I do. I remember the room. I remember my... My brother's body and, and, and the gun. Adam, maybe you should lie down for a little while. No, no, not a chance. Not when I finally get into the truth.